Hello, okay. everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. Give me some good games. I want some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done anymore. Oh, uh, no, no, no. This just. Hello, everybody, and I just want to say one thing. Banjo. Because every time I look at this, every time I look at this god damn trailer, I can't believe it's real. I mean, I literally have to pitch for some shows that I'm not dreaming. The and uh, yeah, the others aren't here with me, so it's just me. But I'm gonna say this right now. The moment I saw that Jiggy, I knew that Benji was gonna be in it. I was like, oh! Like, you guys don't know how I feel. And some, and for some reason, King K. Rool is living, living, <clears throat> and for some reason, <clears throat> K. Rool is living with those banana brains. <laughs> I find that kind of weird and interesting. <clears throat> but when you really think about it, come, come on, guys. You know, I should really talk about that, but <clears throat> even though it's not really canon, it's a little interesting thing why King Carol is hanging with the Kongs. <clears throat> Fuck you, duck. Fuck you, duck hunt. Fuck you, duck hunt. Fuck you, duck hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah, yeah, no, this, this shit literally made me cry when I was looking at it. I was like, ah! It's because of Andrew and Zoe! Ah! I'm, like, seriously, I'm still excited about this. Because I can barely believe that it's real! I can't believe that it's real, guys! And there's grenade eggs! Spiral Mountain! Guys, I think we're gonna... I mean, don't quote me on this, but I really think maybe Banjo sells well, guys? We're making another... We're making a remaster of the two banjo Bazooie games. We might, and it... I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, man, I haven't even checked Twitter. Twitter must be going fucking insane. I know a few Banjo because we um, fan project dudes are probably losing their minds. I'm losing my mind. It's just, and we got the Ginginator. Oh. <laughs> and the and the best part, which no one talks about, is K. Roll falls exactly the way Gruntilda did at the end of two, at the end of one. But there ain't no Congo saving him. <laughs> oh my god, it still makes me fucking cry. Oh, he's back where he needs to be. Man, just back where he needs to be. It's it's what he should have been. It's where he should have been the whole entire time. I'm saying he should have been there in melee. I don't care. I don't care. And for all the people who said that, oh, Banjo is not relevant anymore. <laughs> but I like how. But you know. Go <laughs> I'm just happy. Okay. Uh, this. This moment right here. This moment. 
I'm just enjoying every last minute of it. Because this is the kind of, because this is the kind of shit that I've been waiting for for a long time. I've always wanted Banjo Kazooie to be in Smash since Melee. I heard there was time constraints to actually put Banjo in Melee, but they didn't have the they didn't have uh, enough time in Melee. So I'm happy that Banjo and Kazooie are finally in Smash. Also, we get a little Dragon Quest representation, which I love. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna. Get, I don't think we're going to get Geno yet. I think there's gonna be another. I think there's gonna be another fighter pass. I, I'm. Like, there has to be another fighter pass. Because I really feel that's where it's going to go. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping this leads to another sequel. And I'm like, and I know everybody's going to be like, yeah, oh, we'll collect the bonds. Well, shut up, man. Okay, listen. I liked, I liked Ukulele, and it was good. But I really want Banjo because we're back to make another game. Okay? I want it. I want it. Uh, some of the old fans want it. We're all, like, I saw everybody's reactions, and I was like, <laughs> I'm the one that was literally sitting up on my bed crying, like, <laughs> just crying. I was like, oh, shit. Banjo, get home. You and Kazooie are home now. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up. And they're coming out this, they're coming this fall. And I think the Dragon Quest characters are coming out this fall too. But... With... With that being said... We gotta talk about Shenmue. And I'm glad that Panzer Dragoon is getting a remake on the Switch. I find that... I find that very, very pleasurable on on, a, on some real stuff. Oh, look, a Kickstarter game, Shenmue 3, that was originally promised to be on Steam, is now an Epic Game Store exclusive. Even though <clears> the <throat> Kickstarter for it was years ago, and they promised since then it was going to be on Steam. I want... But with this, with Shinmu being on the Epic Store, <sighs> Shin, the people who are making Shinmu 3, what kind of crap are you smell ganging? People want this on Steam, and now you're just going to be like, oh no, it's going to be on the Epic Store only. I'm sure people are really happy about this. Let's get into it. Skip it about that. People have waited. So Shenmue 3 is probably launching November 19th on PS4 and PC. Now, if you remember years ago, 2015, early on in the... PS... Well, it's still going to be on PS4, but people really want it on Steam, and it feels like you're fucking betraying them. And I know these companies don't owe us shit, but seriously, they promised that it was going to be on Steam. And I know they don't owe us anything, but it just kind of feels like a betrayal generation there was kickstarter which received over 6.3 million dollars back then they promised the game was going to be on steam that was going to be the digital distribution platform for the pc version now at e3 this year like late in the day they said oh yeah it's going to be an epic game still exclusive that's the ideal platform for Shibuya. now people you can't say anyone's entitled with this are understandably annoyed for years now from 2015, when the Kickstarter was revealed for Shenmue 3, they were promised it was going to be on Steam. People prefer Steam. They were promised Steam. Now they're not getting Steam. And even if they don't want to get Shenmue 3 on the Epic Games Store, they're being denied refunds. This is the reply that... They're being Netflix denied refunds? Mother! Oh my god! I don't know what to say to that. They're being denied. They're being denied refunds and everything. 
kind of messed up. is giving people wanting a refund of the PC version of Shenmue 3. This is what they had to say. Thank you very much for contacting us. The launch was previously planned for distribution on Steam. However, it was decided together with Deep Silver after much discussion that the Epic Game Store would be the best digital distribution platform option. WiseNet continues, Shenmue 3 will be distributed through the Epic Game Store and will require the Epic Game Store client to activate. We apologize for the sudden change in platform, However, refunds will not be granted for this change. We thank you for your support and look forward to You guys are full of shit. You know what? You know what? I'm going to probably play Shinmu 1 and 2 and Shinmu 1 and 2. But everybody, I'm sorry. If you got to play if you got to play Shinmu 4, get on play Shinmu 4. I say but I say don't get it from the other game store. That's what I'm telling you. Because they wanna they wanna fuck with it. I say raise a stink about it. Fucking try to get your refunds back the best you can. Because this is fucked up. Y'all wanted y'all wanted Steam and I think you should I think you should guys I think you guys should get properly refunded for giving them your money and for hoping that you get it on Steam. That's like that's like me that's like me waiting for a Neptunia game and they're just saying, Oh, it's gonna be on Steam and then I just find out, boom, it's gonna be on GOG. But it, it it's like if you it's like if I gave it my money beforehand for like, you know, pre you know, pre ordering the game. Then for them to just say, Oh, yeah, we're not gonna refund your Steam money and also it's on the Epic Game Store. Kinda sucks, man. Kinda sucks. I felt angry for you guys because shit. If that was my money, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. I'd be angry, rightfully so. I'd be ready to. I'd be ready to. I'd be ready to really stick it to. I'd be ready to really stick it to fucking deep silver. Experience fans everywhere have been waiting so long for. They promised something. <laughs> They're backing out on their promise, okay? They're they're not and they're denying people refunds. Now, obviously, people are very pissed off about this. Now they're going to go to their credit card providers or PayPal or whatever. However, they they supported Shenmue Three and they're going to try to get refunds that way. And as a matter of fact, as far as I know, this is false advertising by WiseNet with their Kickstarter. You can't say that it's promised on a platform, take it away from a platform at the last minute, and say. Oh, oops, sucks for you. Can't get your money back. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that, and if the, at least the backers anyway are. Kicked I think it would have been. I think it would have been. I think it would have been okay if they had just got their money back. I think the outrage wouldn't be so big if that's only on the Epic Store if they could get their money back. The option to get Shenmue Three on the PC, or you know, Wise Net will get in trouble. We'll have to see how that plays out. Now look, again, man, this isn't me being a pretentious gamer or going along with the crowd because everyone's outraged. Look, you, the Epic Game Store is a competitor to Steam. They offer, you know, a bigger cut to developers, so it's drawing developers to their platform. That's competition. Valve needs to keep up. Valve needs to change their digital distribution platform. And offer that 88% mm -hmm. cut and, and make their platform better. I get all that. that that's how competition works. Yeah, me too. The way me too. I just feel like they they should at least give you guys your money back. Because that's not fair. You guys were expecting Steam. Y'all wanted Steam and they ain't giving it to you. And that's just... And I was actually going to get it on Steam. But I didn't actually pay the Kickstarter. And it just kind of irritates me. Because I wanted to kind of play it on Steam, but you know, oh, oh, the fuck well. I'm glad to see that Valve has some competition, but this isn't how you get exclusives, God damn it! We're doing the same thing that happened with Metro Exodus. At the 11th hour, they go, oh, oh yeah, by the way, now it's an Epic Game Store timed exclusive for a year at the last minute. You were planning on getting it on Steam. Sucks for you, even though it was on there, it was a pre-orderable game for a while on mm -hmm. Steam. 
yeah, we changed your mind at the last minute because we want to force you to go over to another digital distribution platform because we get to keep more money. And I love how they always word it, oh, it's the best to give you the best experience. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I know Steam has its problems. Okay, mm -hmm. I know that. But I have no issues with Steam. I'm talking from a purchase and download standpoint. I buy a game, it downloads quickly, yeah. I install it, and it plays. What, what better experience is it going to offer on the Epic Game Store, which feature-wise right now, because it's a newer store, understandably, is threadbare compared to Steam. What is it going to give me? Are Playboy Bunnies going to come to my house and do a dance for me because I bought it on the Epic Game Store? What benefits am I getting on the Epic Game Store? Ooh. Rich, why did you just, why did you say Playboy Bunnies right now? I mean, I mean, like, you know, if, if that's all, you know, they should do, give, they should give people a discount for, like, Fortnite items. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. That's what should, that's what they should do. Just kind of try to make up for, and to try and make up for what they just did. For everybody who actually gave their money to this project, either refund their money or at least give them like a special discount for some of the stuff in the Epic Games store. I'm just saying. I need the best way for them to save face if they can't give back the refunds. But uh, they should, though. I'm just saying, this is another option. If they don't, if they want to be, if they want to be bullheaded about this. But I feel bad for you guys because y'all deserve to at least play Shimmer was, you know, how you wanted it, and you won't play it the way. You won't play it the way you really wanted it. So, I feel bad for you guys. And I ain't really a Shinmu fan. I mean, I watched a little bit of Shinmu, a bunch of cutscenes, but I never really played it. But I feel bad for you guys because y'all are waiting for this. Whatever well, release it's coming out, but the people who want to play this on Steam, they can't have it. And it, and it kind of pisses me off. Because y'all should get your money back. I don't give a good goddamn. We're getting nothing. It'll run fine, Shenmue 3 and Metro Exodus and all these games that are either tied exclusive or exclusives. But it's just about you getting a bigger cut. Which, again, if Shenmue was announced on Kickstarter and it launched and said it was going to be on the Epic Game Store, or even if, like, a while ago they changed it, no, that still wouldn't be okay because they promised in the beginning of the on, on, on Steam as the biggest distribution platform. Whatever. If Epic Game Store was around back in 2015, okay, and they said it was going to be on that platform from day one, and it's going to be an exclusive to be competitive with Steam, that's fine. But you can't do crap like this. It, it's just shady. It's anti-consumer. And this is why people get angry. And right now, what's happening is Epic Games is just making themselves look like the bad guy. You want to get exclusives? Get the exclusives. Get them from day one. That's fine. But pulling exclusives away, okay, from a Kickstarter-backed game at the last minute, kind of the last minute, just looks downright shady. Mm -hmm. And it makes WiseNet look like crap, too, and Deep Silver. Everyone looks crappy in this situation, and you're not giving people refunds on top of it. You're screwing everyone over who is really passionate about this game, and it's absolutely unacceptable. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. It just makes... And the real, and really, it just makes me angry because y'all deserve, y'all deserve your money, y'all deserve your money back. You know, because like if something like that happened to me, I would be like looking any way I can to get my money back, and I feel like y'all should do the same. I know that the Chimbu 3 is going to be a good game, but y'all wanted this on Steam, and you guys ain't getting what you want. They promised it to you. You gave your money for... So you gave your money for that particular reason, and I feel like, yeah, you should get your money back. But... Uh, well, I'll see you guys later. Bugsy out. And, uh, yeah. At least the good, least the good side of this is that... Where... Also, there's going to be a Breath of the Wild sequel, so... <laughs> All 
I mean, Banjo, Breath of the Wild sequel. I say what I say that this is gonna be pretty awesome. But I'll see you guys later. Mm, bye, folks. See you guys real soon, and yeah, about my uh, icon. Yeah, I had to fix it, but uh, yeah, I can fix it in post. <laughs>